Well, we're nine months into the Trump administration, and the president has made some notable foreign policy moves in his time in office. Those moves were examined on Monday night at Central Lakes College in Brainerd. Clayton Castle has that story. It's almost been a year since the election of Donald Trump as the 45th president of the United States. On Monday night, the Gordon Rosenmeyer Board for State and Local Government examined the foreign policy of President Trump so far with guest speaker and foreign policy expert Tom Hansen. Hansen is a former U.S. Foreign Service officer with the State Department and said that North Korea is the number one issue facing America from a foreign policy standpoint. Um, obviously, we have to find a peaceful resolution to the North Korea issue. Um, there's a lot of saber rattling going on right now that might be uh, for effect. I mean, it might be a, a prelude to negotiating. We just don't know. The idea of stirring things up before negotiating, Hansen said, is detailed in President Trump's book, The Art of the Deal. President Trump's negotiating tactics are also being used in his bilateral foreign policy approach as opposed to President Obama's multilateral approach. The, the world has networks that the U.S. had key positions within these networks, whereas uh, the Trump people are saying, no, no, everything should be bilateral. When we engage in multilateral uh, uh, negotiations, we lose. And, of course, we've pulled out of Trans-Pacific Partnership, Paris Climate Agreement, or questioning NAFTA. As for the greatest threat facing the United States in terms of foreign policy, Hansen says it's the growing rhetoric surrounding nuclear war. If ever there should be a nuclear war, of course, ever since the nuclear uh, genie came out of the bottle. That is ultimately the number one threat. Tom Hansen also presented in Brainerd this time last year, but he has seen fundamental differences in the political landscape since then. He says that being aware of the changing political, economic, and technological landscape is what he wants the attendees to take away from the lecture. We're living in a time of some fundamental shifts, uh, both in world geopolitics, in other words, the relations among large countries, and in the world economy. Um, and that these shifts also involve the new technologies that are emerging. Reporting in Brainerd, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. Hansen currently serves as diplomat in residence at the Allworth Institute for International Affairs at the University of Minnesota Duluth. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.